Welcome everyone to an episode of Smart Continues. I just want to welcome you to another brand new year of 2020. Another brand new year of consistency. Another brand new year of you keeping the habit of staying at it. And you keeping the habit of not quitting. And you keeping the habit of not what? Of not being distracted. Of not procrastinating the life you want to have in the future for the life that you're currently experiencing right now. So you might be going through some more disappointment, sadness, stress, failures. Right now, some people probably not responding to you. Maybe you didn't get that, you know, Happy New Year text and you kind of feel a specific kind of way and you're kind of down and you're kind of depressed. But I want to let you know that, hey, a lot of people did not get that and they got past that and they're still having a great year. So I want you to know that you need to actually get past the fact that the calendar changed because the majority of us need to know that our goals are really borrowed from our friends, from our peers, from our society, from our coworkers. We borrow our goals. I want to do this. I want to accomplish this by this. I want to do this by then. In the summertime, I want to do this. I want to travel there. I want to do this by then. From where? You heard it from that next person, right? You heard it from the other person. And you heard everybody was doing that and you wanted to jump in. But I want this year to be your year of your own thinking. I want this year to be the year you actually do your own thing. I want this year to be the year where you actually get to find yourself with a clear vision of you actually thinking independently in order for you to find other people who are thinking independently also so you guys can come together and think co-dependently because that is the unification of what life is. That's when positivity meets positivity and you avoid and avoid all that negativity. But the key point is the fact that we don't need to borrow our goals. We don't need to borrow our dreams. We don't need to borrow anything from our coworkers, from our peers, from our colleagues, from anybody. We just need to be consistent with the fact that, hey, I'm going to wake up with gratitude. I'm going to wake up with the attitude that, hey, this job that I have is not the end of the world, you know? I know this is all their pain, but hey, you know what? Maybe if I just smile my way through it, I might get a promotion. Maybe if I, you know, look for applications and look for jobs in another city, they might just give me another opportunity to, you know, get hired in a current minimum wage at the current city that you might be working at. But I want you to know that that is you actually being gracious for the opportunity. The opportunity to stay steadfast because when we're not moving, we actually stay stagnant. And this is when all the stress comes. This is when all the depression comes. This is when all the anger and all the jealousy comes. This is when the majority of us just scroll through. Oh my goodness, they just took a trip. Oh my goodness, they just bought a car. Oh my goodness, where did they go again? Oh my goodness, can you stop buying all this drip? It's because of what? It's because of the fact that maybe you're not being gracious for the fact that, hey, whatever you have right now, that's good enough. Hey, just currently stack up, work towards getting more, or actually just be contented with where you're at. And that is the graciousness. And this is you waking up with the optimism for the fact that, hey, you know what? I'm just going to be on the move, you know? Just be on the move. Just be on the move by actually doing things, by actually making myself a verb. Making myself a habit, making myself in constant motion for activity. It's called everything is everything. Because everything actually leads to everything. Our life is like accumulation of everything. So the person who you are in 2010 is probably the same person you're going to be in 2020 if you don't make the drastic changes of actually starting with your gratitude and actually leading with your optimism and then get to the point of actually being positive. In order for you to actually collaborate, network, and actually create a social life of abundance. In order for you to find other people who like to do what you like to do. Because that is where friendship starts from. Yes. When I played basketball, I had friends who actually played basketball. So, you know, it wasn't much of a drag or a pull to be like, hey, let's go to the gym and go shoot some shots. Hey, let's go work out. Hey, let's go do this activity that leads to the activity that we actually met upon and bonded upon. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That part. And this is how we actually, you know, collaborated. We'll go eat meals afterwards and we actually, you know, create a festive atmosphere of actually getting to know who we were and build bonds in different social graphs through different social media. But the key understanding was the fact that it was all cultivated of the habit we had of, hey, this is what we do and this is what we're positive for. This is what we like to do. Hey, you know what? Why not just go out there and just work out? Why not just go out there and be active? Why not just go out there and bond? Why not just go out there and and meet people in order for you to be positive as something great is going to happen to you because this is what the whole purpose of life is us understanding that our dreams don't need to be borrowed from our co-workers from our peers 
for my colleagues, for my families, for my friends, for my significant others. No, we can just start with our own dream, with our own goal of actually leading with positivity. Because this is where the habit of gratefulness and gratitude comes from. This is how I get to build Eticon Moses, to be one of the most powerful brands that have existed. Your smile continues. 2020 vision. Goodbye.